And let's start off with the very first paper this morning. It's the Daily Monitor. That's what we're going to. Uh, let's monitor what's been happening, especially uh, from across the continent. But we're starting off with uh, what you see there at the top. Uh, it pretty seems like it's uh, it's uh, the police uh, dragging someone by the hair and pulling that person into the back of a vehicle, possibly a pickup. Well, news page two to three says speaker storm cps as the tayabwa blast police over brutality and i was about saying that but that looks like a brutal a brutal encounter and we it's not looking good at all uh, so uh you might want to read up inside of the uh, daily monitor and find out what it's all about well uganda still has more stories yes they do mps blow off america in anti-gay law battle uh, we've been talking about this and we're wondering why they're going back and forth and why they are not sticking to just one answer uh, and one decision. Well, reaction, and uh, it says, a section of legislators uh, say Washington should continue supporting HIV AIDS care and treatment if the assistance was altruistic, but would draw the money if the purpose was to push homosexuality agenda. Osage, I like this. I'm going to say it again, I like it. I think it's high time uh, things should be well defined. Um, there are many times we've seen the president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, who appeared before a national TV broadcast, followed by um, William Ruto, and he was asked this question. And here you have Museveni and, of course, members of the uh, parliament are saying, if you're going to be supporting um, a cause for HIV AIDS in our country, just because you want us to equally bend mm -hmm. and also accept your, um, um, your 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 support for um, the gays and the uh, the LGBTQ community. Uh, listen, we don't want that anymore. It's better you stop supporting us yeah. with funds because we've made our statements clear. And you can't force people to do what you want them not to do. I agree. You know? so, so there's always going to be a back and forth, you know, with majority, you know, majorly with African nations, but not just in Africa, um, in uh, Middle Eastern countries and in other parts of the world. Um, they also have very, very strong anti-LGBTQ um, laws um, and all of that. But um, if you're not, if you're, the, the United States has over time tried to force and to, you know, cajole other countries to accept, you know, these LGBT, LGBTQ laws and, of course, so to relax their their thoughts on it. But it, I don't think it will be that it will be that easy uh, because we're dealing with, uh, you know, a lot of other factors. All right. Okay, that's all I'm going to take on the Daily Monitor. One last one, Osaga. That one, I don't sing to enjoy. I sing for money. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so do we. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> now, let's move away from Uganda and see what's going on in Tanzania this morning on the Citizen newspapers. It says, Tanzania's bold rescue mission of its citizens from Khartoum. Or oh, Khartoum, I pronounce it. It says, there were emotional scenes at Julius Nyerere International Airport in Dar es Salaam yesterday when more than 200 Tanzanians arrived home from conflicted Sudan following evacuation organized and coordinated by the government. <laughs> also, Kagame arrives for two-day working visit, was on page three of the citizen. Uh, Tanzania and Japan signed 172 billion shillings pact on farming imputes. Why Samia picked private sector gurus for malaria initiative and also what should be done to promote MSMEs. These are the big stories on the citizen. As quickly as possible, uh, we move away from the citizen and uh, see what we can find uh, in Nigeria on the Daily Trust. All right, Daily Trust is the paper. And let's see what we have there on the front page of Daily Trust. Tinubu settles for Akwabio Barua as Senate President. Depp. Ah. To convey decision to NWC, other contenders meets APC governor says, let's work together on NAS leadership. North can't be second fiddle, former governor. Consultations ongoing for speaker, deputy positions. And then you also heard the table sense of Fabio uh, Barao uh, as Senate president and uh, deputy Senate president. Uh, tank explosion kills 13, injured many in Joss. My administration recruited 60,000 soldiers, according to Buari. Girl, eight, tests HIV positive after mother's boyfriend raped her. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Meaning that the mother, too, mm. if care is not taken, she needs to carry out that test. But that is a pathetic story. Ooh. Okay. Anyway, we hope the authorities will jump on this and uh, get that man arrested. Sudan crisis, 1,500 Nigerian evacu evacuees 
uh, to arrive at Abuja today, according to federal government. And uh, I think that's all we're going to take. Federal government suspends field subsidy removal. Um, that's a story that's ac um, actually on uh, a repetitive mode as well, especially on front pages of the uh, papers. All right. And finally, on the punch newspapers this morning, as quickly as possible, it says National Assembly leadership, Tinubu, governor's dump consensus for zoning. Uh, governor's advice, Tinubu against endorsing candidates, seek due process. I was going to mention that, you know, it, what is this whole idea of Tinubu picks this or Tinubu picks that? That's not the way the Senate president is, picked, is selected in the National Assembly. What, what does that mean? Um, go, uh, work with party leadership for principal officers' uh, selection, Tinubu tells governors. Um, remember, um, also, over 60,000 soldiers recruited under my watch, says President Buhari. $2.4 billion diversion claim baseless, says Malami. And also, Nigerians rejoice as police go after rogue cops. Flood, 16 states, I federal government relief fund. And also, federal government plans supplementary budget as NEC suspends subsidy removal. Rescued Nigerian students arrive Egypt, await airlift. And also, PDP, Liberal Party lost poll to overconfidence, says President Mohamed Buhari. Just quickly remind Nigerians that as the conversations emerge on um, leadership and you know uh, president-elect picking who would you know be senate president some of all of that there's still a tribunal to watch out for and of course the courts still have a say in who will eventually be nigeria's next president uh, but these are the major stories on the punch newspapers and all the stories that we can share at this time we have more newspapers coming your way or more headlines coming your way in the second half of breakfast central <laughs>